The film with a beautiful but terrifying palace, with darkness everywhere. Meanwhile, a lady is shown standing at a place in a room being scared and someone arrives in the room to feed her. The lady runs from there as the door opens but everyone discovered that's why she couldn't run. She ties an iron wire around her neck and holds a statue for heavy weight and the next moment she ends herself while jumping. Before dying, she said, everything is ending with me, so you can't get anyone from my generation. The story is shown many years later. And there is a girl named Evie who is an artist but also works hard. Right now she is doing a job as a waitress. She has a good friend and they were doing hard work for their good future. Her friend gives her a DNA test with which they can find anyone's family member. This job is done by a company. For the people who have none in this world. The company used to find out the relative of a person while taking his DNA. Returning home, Evie starts making mud pots. As she likes this but she wasn't attentive towards it. She was missing her parents while seeing their pictures and was listening to their voice messages again and again. Because her parents died many years ago and she is alone in this world so she decides to give the DNA. While hoping to find someone in this world and the company will find him or her. The next day, she gives her DNA sample and the result came after a while. She discovers her family was from England and the company has found her cousin who was in England at this time. Evie becomes surprised to know this and even she tells her friend about it and her cousin also gets this message. That he has a cousin named Evie. He messages her and calls her for a coffee. Evie becomes happy to see this because she was alone in this world. And she was feeling lonely but her friend makes her understand not to believe anyone like this. I think this DNA company is also a fraud. Maybe they will trap you and will take any benefit from you but Evie ignores her. After a few days, Evie meets her cousin at a hoidel and he becomes happy to meet her and behaves nicely. Seeing it, Evie becomes happy. Later, he tells her that their family is huge and rich. They become happy after Kay and Woeling about you. There is a wedding of our cousin after a few days and you have to attend it. Everyone will be delighted to see you because they are eager to meet you. Evie says I'd like to come but can't because I don't have much money. But he says don't worry we will bear all of your expenses and this will be a gift from your family. She agrees and decides to go to England and reaches there after a few days. Her cousin comes to receive her at the airport and again meets her nicely. Then he takes her to a lavish palace and seeing it, Evie becomes astonished. Actually, the family of Evie's cousin lives here because they work here for the owner. The wedding preparations of their cousin were going on so there were some waitresses. Evie collides with a waitress. She was having glasses in her hands due to it. They fell but Evie helps her meanwhile. The house's servant arrives and starts misbehaving with her but she says don't you know how to talk. I am a guest here meanwhile. A boy arrives and apologizes to Evie for the servant's behavior. Meanwhile, Evie's cousin arrives and introduces them to each other. She discovers this boy is none other than this house's owner named Walter and Evie's cousin's family works for him. Here, Walter's behavior was also good to Evie. She become happy with it and also admires his palace. Later, the servant takes Evie's luggage inside the palace. The palace is shown lovely even from inside. Evie is shown the whole palace and we discover it is the same palace in which the lady ended herself. Now she was given a room and even a servant who was nice and now will work for her. Evie was surprised to see this as she was getting a lot of respect here. The servant tells her the rules to live here. That she don't have to come outside and just have to ring the bell if you want anything I will come. It is not allowed to go to the library because there is some task going on and you have to sleep early at night. Evie removes the curtains and sees the rods behind them and asks being surprised what is the purpose of those rods. The servant says the dangerous birds often come that can harm us and the rods are for our safety. She doesn't say anything because she feels maybe she is saying truth. At night Evie video calls her friend. She tells her everything about here that she is happy here. She says I wasn't expecting everything to be so good here. The people, palace and their nature everything is good. After a while, Walter comes to her door and says I was here to see you that you come in the room and I apologize once more on behalf of my servant. He appears to like Evie. After it, she goes for a walk and sees an old building near the palak. Seeing it, she stops because she sees a terrible thing near the building. At night, she sees a nightmare and awakes immediately. She feels thirst so she comes out of her room to drink water. She sees the servant has gathered all the workers and sends one of them to clean up the library. Evie feels strange to see this but then her servant arrives who asks her to go back to her room. She asks her to go and sleep as coming out isn't good for her. Evie leaves but the girl is shown who went to clean up the library. And suddenly, a thing attacks her from the roof and takes her with her. In the morning, Evie was called downstairs as her family gathered to welcome her. She returns to her room and finds a dress with a note. It was sent by Walter for the party in the evening. Meanwhile, the servant is shown sending two girls in library to bring beer. There was an attack on them and someone has taken them with it. Likewise, the waitresses were disappearing one by one. Evie wasn't aware that there will be something strange or dangerous. At night, she gets ready nicely after wearing the dress given by Walter and comes to the party. 
Here, she meets two light girls and one of them was clever and doesn't like Evie but the other was innocent and happy on Evie's arrival. Evie was surprised both she hasn't seen the bride yet. They have made their own rules. Walter arrives and moves to Evie. He starts dancing with her and Evie feels good because among so many girls Walter has chose her to dance. After it, they go for a walk and talk to each other. Evie was talking about the building that scared her yesterday. He tells her this was used to keep things in the old air and takes her to another place where they talk a lot. Evie was sleeping in her room and gets scared of something and hides under the bed immediately. And she was shouting as well. Hearing her voices, Walter coems to her handles her while checking the roof. But there was nothing and he makes her understand in the end that she may have seen a nightmare because there is nothing. Evie was considering herself safe with Walter that's why she asks him to stay in her room until she sleeps. He agrees and in the morning, Evie awakes and finds a letter by Walter near her. I am leaving but didn't awake you just not to disturb you was written on it. The girls who met Evie in the party come and take Evie with them to get her ready. Meanwhile, Evie's finger become injured when her nails were cutting and starts bleeding. The girl couldn't stop herself while seeing the blood and starts sucking her blood. Evie feels weird so she leaves in anger. Evie starts feeling that the people here are strange and something is wrong. So she decides to go to the place where she wasn't allowed means in the library. She moves inside and sees her details on the table that was taken by Walter. She feels bad seeing this and leaves from there. She starts packing her luggage. Meanwhile, Walter comes to her and makes her understand while apologizing. That I have taken out your details because I care for my life and money. I just wanted to know that if you are coming here being greedy for money, I had to do this when I was told of your arrival. As I want to know you in real and you are suspecting me. Now again Evie was trapped because she now likes Walter. At night, a lavish dinner was arranged and everyone was nicely dressed. Evie was also given a lovely dress. She comes while wearing it and sits near Evie. Walter stands up and says thanks to everyone. That you are with me for a long time and serving me. During this he declares that he will marry Evie. But Evie feels weird and now the things in Walter's talks become strange. Their servant fills a pot with blood while cutting a waitress's neck and Evie gets shocked to see this and gets scared. Walter says you are serving me from centauries and have to give me three wives and I have two of them and third will be Evie. As we all know the number three is special and powerful and with it, I will be more powerful. And in return you people will get money, fame and power and many other things besides this. Evie understands everything but now it was too late. Actually, Walter was a vampire. Now because he is immortal that's why he is alive for centauries and they all were serving him. Walter's first wife was the clever girl and the innocent one was the second wife. They were living with Walter for years as they were also vampires. His third wife was Evie's grandmother who ended herself at the start of the movie and now Walter can't marry ordinary girls. And he wants a girl with pure blood to get married. Her grandmother's blood was pure so he married her but she ended herself. Now he wants to get married to Evie as she also has special blood because of her grandmother. Evie tries to escape but couldn't and Walter says try to understand and think what I can give you. You will be immortal like me and will never die. Even you will have power of 100 men and will never get sick and you will have a luxurious life like money, power. Well, now Evie was locked in the basement and Walter's wives come with her. Only Walter and his wives were vampires and others were humans. They serve them like they bring blood for them. As blood is vampire's food, the vampire wives make Evie understand that they have also gone through all this. And once Walter will give you his blood to drink and you will feel powerful, you will be happy that you will forget your previous life. Then you will be used to of the vampire's life with the passage of time. But Evie wasn't affected of all this because she doesn't want to be a killer or a devil and she starts weeping. After it, they left while leaving Evie alive because soon Walter and Evie will get married. Now the servant of Evie was a good-hearted lady so she took pity on her. And she doesn't want her to be a prey of this cruelty so she helps her to escape from there. Getting a right chance. Evie runs from there but everyone discovers that Evie escaped and the servant helped her. Many people were sent behind her but she hides in the building. The servant has ended that servant and brings her body into that building. Evie panics to see this and runs from there. The servant moves behind her but she locks him in this building and runs from there. She reaches a village in a house and there was an old couple so she asks them for help. Please call the police as there are some people behind me and they want to end me. The old couple let her in the house. Now the lady calls but not the police but Walter because they were also Walter's servants. Evie also understands but now it was too late. They offer tea to Evie but she throws it at the old man. Meanwhile, the old lady attacks her while throwing something and she gets faint. She awakes and was lying on the sofa. And there was Walter in front of her telling her the benefits to be a vampire and provoking her to get married. There was a girl nearby whose blood he was sucking. He somehow agrees her to marry and now at the time of marriage, Walter gives Evie his hand to suck blood and Evie sucks it. Now like her Walter has to suck her blood so his third marriage process will be completed and he will become powerful. Evie becomes powerful as she sucked his blood but she doesn't let him suck her blood but set that place on fire. Seeing this, the humans get panicked and run from there. 
Walter moves to stop Abby, but she stabs a thick weapon picked from the fire in his chest. He was getting weak with it and after it. Abby also runs from there but Walter's clever wife starts fighting with her and says, Foolish girl, what do you think? You will break the rules of thousand years old. This is your misunderstanding. And you can't end Walter because we will do each possible try to save him because we will die with him as well. She again fights with her and was about to end Evie but then Walter's innocent wife arrives. Now because she was fed up of devilish life so she attacks Walter's wife. They fight with each other and in the end, they were ended weirdly. After it, Walter whose condition wasn't well holds Evie. Holding her and sucking her blood he tries to make her his wife but Evie cuts his hand due to it, he leaves her. Later, she throws him into the fire while pushing him. Now because of being weak he dies immediately. Then she comes out while setting this place on fire. She escaped from this town with a girl who survived. Evie is shown a vampire after two weeks. She is powerful as she has sucked Walter's blood. She was with her friend and they were finding her fake cousin because Evie wants to take her revenge on him. Everything happened because of him. Here this movie ends.